Isn't this beautiful? Well, those trees we planted someday will grow. <laughs> Might take a while. Yeah, a few of them won't make it. <laughs> One or two. Okay. Hey, there's holes down there nice, though. Yeah, this is out into the north end of the dairy production. Yeah, I have to come up someday and see that sphere in operation, how that works. Do you remember what they called it? Globe. What? I don't know. Because uh, that, he said when they got it, there were only about what, 25 or so in the country. Very expensive. But I think of somebody from NOAA deciding that two dimensions didn't adequately represent their data. It's really clear now. This is often fog swept.
smart people there today, too. Those guys are smart. Yeah, I think that this is one of the top, one of the top 35 and 40 of parks for no more visitors. It's a wilderness next door. That was part of the reason also they wanted to get it into protection because they knew that this would become a ma this was potentially a major recreation area to the San Francisco Bay Area. And of course, once something gets really developed, it's gone. And the land gets expensive. I was saying the whole, or the lady, she apparently, it's in that pink or red jacket, she wrote the history of how the Golden Gate National Recreation came about, which is later history. Apparently she's the expert on that. That was kind of later, that was kind of filling in, linking all this stuff. Is that what she was interviewing you about? No, that was another lady. I'm not sure what she's, she, she used to work in advocacy back east. But she, um, the other lady who, um, she had a pink or red jacket on, she actually has written one of the books that's, yeah, um, Golden Gate, I guess that's just Golden Gate National Recreation. I'm not too into all of that, though. Never gotten... windshield wipers. Wow. It's a big window if you actually look at it. Yeah, I guess it is. This is slides back, yeah. But, um, you know, it's like, I'm not that into it because I have my own personal part of it. <laughs> and that's what counts to me. But yeah, it was a whole, I mean, it was a convergence of a lot of things. You had privileged Marin County of the 50s and development was coming and you had very educated people, very... Oh, come on, now you're holding up traffic. Yeah, just play back, just the I'm not gonna go anywhere fast. And these people, these would have been people who had the money to travel and camp and recreate and backpacking is it Colin Fletcher? It's a book on, he wrote a first big book on how to camp and backpack and the gear got light. 